continuing our journey here in Final Fantasy X. In our previous video, Titus, the star blitzball player for the Xanarkin Abes, meets up with Orin after Xanarkin is attacked by Sin. Titus is then seemingly transported by Sin to an unknown place, only to be taken hostage by the Albed. So here we are aboard their vessel, and uh, let's see where this leads us. If you're near death, really near death, use this. Potions, cool. You afraid of the sea? Weakling. Move it. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. Using the Spear Grid. The Spear Grid is used to develop your characters by activating nodes with spears. Let's see how this is done. Okay, so I already know how this is done. So I'm essentially going to bypass uh, this tutorial and I'll explain things as we go along as I develop these characters throughout our journey. So I'm just gonna sort of quickly go through this little mini tutorial here. Essentially, the spheres that you obtain uh, can activate different nodes which unlock abilities, increase stats, um, and whatnot. So it's something that we'll be coming back to time and time again uh, throughout this play. You can increase your attack, your defense, luck, learn different abilities, um, all kinds of stuff. As you can see, it's somewhat of a long tutorial, so I'm not going to sit here and um, read through all of this. And yes, you can switch between all your different characters and make your way around this entire grid. Okay. We found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get to work. Roger. All right. Looks like the Albed are mainly scavengers looking for you know, underground ruins, lost treasures, that sort of thing. I would not want to swim that deep down, down into the ocean. I think the, the deep ocean, and the ocean in general is already kind of a scary place. Especially when you got these things. Piranhas. Okay. Well, we don't have any grenades, but let's go ahead and steal from them. More defense than I thought. Go ahead and toss a grenade at him. There we go. And uh, generally, when you get overkill, um, it's uh, y you have the ability to find more items, so that's always nice. So we got two speed spear spears there, and um, hey, let's uh, let's go ahead and use the spear grid quick. See if we can uh, unlock any abilities. Okay, so we can move a space forward. We, we can use an ability sphere to uh, to teach Titus the ability cheer. So there we go. It's as simple as that. Um, as you level up, you can move further around the sphere grid and unlock different abilities using your spheres. Simple enough. I think we can use Riku's yet. Okay. All right. Cool. Getting pretty deep now. Let's 
and uh, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna save just yet. Oh, he just bangs on the monitor and it just activates. Chase down by piranhas. Let's go ahead and toss another grenade. Easy enough. And since Titus didn't attack, he does not gain any experience. So only the uh, characters that actually contribute within the bat. Uh, during a match, those are the ones that level up. But hey, we got some uh, speed spheres and ability spheres, can't go wrong. She's pointing up. So let's swim exactly towards it. Ambushed. That's never a good thing. Ambush essentially means that all enemies get to attack first. Okay. Um, don't have any grenades. Riku's attacks are very weak. Uh, granted, she has certain... Uh, Equipment that can make things easier, but it's always best to use items in the game. So we're gonna steal a grenade from this uh, creature. Raises party strength and defense. So let's go ahead and try out cheer. So that's gonna raise our strength and defense. Let's attack this piece. It is our official uh, first full length boss battle against Tross. So we couldn't steal anything that time. But hey, we did uh, get Titus' overdrive, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and use a grenade. And we shall use Spiral Cut. Let's see if we can get it the first time. It's always very tricky for me. Third time. And sometimes you have to deal with interactions like this. They'll, sw they'll swim out of range or move out of range, and you have to move your characters. Trigger commands. Special commands become available in certain battles. Press left on the D-pad in the command window uh, to access them. So we can tell her to... Mine items, we can tell her to stand by. He is out of range though, so we're just gonna go ahead and stand by for now. That also increases some health, which is nice. So it does look like when it moves uh, opposite our players, it can use that charge attack, which d definitely does a lot more damage. So this boss is going to be able to attack once more. But let's go ahead and steal from it. We got ourselves a grenade. Tentacles on Riku. And... I think we should probably use... 
Oof, Riku does need some help, help as well. Let's go ahead and uh, use a potion on Riku. And then what I'm going to do is use this grenade. I'm going to use another cheer. And then I'm going to use a health item on Titus. And again, it's going to move opposite of us. definitely have a corner. Preventing it from using that dash attack. Tentacles does not do much damage. Let's go ahead and steal again. Could steal anything this time. Let's attack this thing. We'll attack with Riku. Attack again with Titus. Got a nice critical hit there. And he missed his attack, very nice. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to steal anything else from this this enemy. I could be wrong, but I'm not going to risk it. Instead, I'm just going to kill attack. And we got a critical with Riku, very nice. Attack again with Titus. And that should be it. Took down our first boss. Very satisfying. And we have a level up with Titus. Let's go ahead and access that sphere grid. they look for valuables to salvage. Get a good view of how deep we really are. Characters can seem seemingly uh, survive for long periods of time underwater. Either they've conditioned themselves to survive long, long periods of time underwater. Uh, some say they could also be uh, basically staying alive without the ability to breathe through the uh, through the power of, the, of souls, which you see leaving enemies as as they are defeated. But we'll touch base on that a little bit more as we dive deeper into the story. Futra Ershis, Radalut van an Ecker. So that thing that we found Oof. under the water Oof. was an airship. Wait, Wichetta! Hey! 
Hey, I helped out, didn't I? <laughs> that was a little rude. Ugh, hungry. <laughs> He's always getting kicked around like a like a dog or something. Now he has to Whoa, eat like a dog. <laughs> right on. Wonder what he's eating there. <laughs> and boy is he hungry. <laughs> well too hungry. Too fast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> hey. <sighs> Hello there. What is your name? Riku. Whoa! You really do understand. <laughs> Either Titus is going crazy, or he's huh? feeling a little uh, funny why for him. Didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Um, <sighs> who are you guys anyway? We're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an Albed hater, are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Where are you from? Xanarkand. I'm a Blitzball player. <clears throat> Star player of the Xanarkand Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? Good point. Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near Sin. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? What, what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! You could imagine the... What must be going through Titus's mind uh, does not seem like that long ago where Sin... Where he was playing, he was a star player of the Xanarkin Aves for, uh, in his home city of Xanarkand. And now he's being told that that was a city that was destroyed a thousand years ago. Um, it would just only add to the terror and confusion that Titus must be feeling at this point. Let's go ahead and talk to Riku again. You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. Oh, 
Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. Uh, you'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Essentially, he needs to be tight-lipped about what happens. Because people are going to think it's either the Why toxin... Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Else. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! place you'd want to be is in the water with that thing again. So once more Titus is being essentially absorbed by the thing known as sin. And once more wakes up in an unfamiliar place. Arguably a much Riku. nicer place, though. Hey, something he's familiar Blitzball. with. Blitzball! Blitzball. Hey, you okay? Meet Walker. Hey! Famous jet shot. <laughs> Need to say these guys are impressed. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. So we have the docks over here. This may just be my favorite location in the entire game. One of my favorite uh, music uh, pieces from the game as well. Oh, we got a chest. Nice. Some antidotes. Good for curing poisons. We're starting to look up. <laughs> the 
can't believe their eyes. You know amateur. Who you play for? The Xanarkin Apes. What team you say again? Uh, I meant... forget that. Uh, I got too, uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy-like. So, uh, I don't know where this place is. Or even where I came from. Sin's toxin got to you. But you're still alive. Praise be to Yevon. All right, back to practice. I'm Waka, coach and captain of the Besaid Orox brother. <laughs> what? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I get you something. All right. So we just met the Besaid Orox. Bada. I really want to make Captain Walker proud at this year's tournament. Sometimes you can talk to characters multiple times and they'll say different things as well. Come practice with us, okay? The toxin wears off, okay? Hope you get better soon, brother. He gave us a few potions, very cool. Keepa. Hey, I'll admit it. We're not the best in Blitzers in Spira. To do our best, that's our motto. Guess it's not enough, though. Here, take this and do your best, yeah? Gave us a little bit of money. Jasu? That shot was spectacular, brother. Wish I could shoot like that. Captain Walk is waiting for you. You better get going, yeah? There's fiends on the road, yeah? Use this if you get in trouble. A few potions? Dado. I gotta stop closing my eyes when the ball comes down. You being a blitz ball player is probably what saved you out there. The best players, they can hold their breath, like, forever. I wish I could do that. We had an underwater race once, yeah? To see how long we could go? Two laps when we were out. Captain Walker went five, no sweat. That toxin's nasty stuff, y'all. You should go rest up. What am I saying? Take this, it might help. High potion. Letty. I can hit the ball pretty good. Today's just a bad day, yeah? This is really weird, yeah? I could do five in a row yesterday. I'm nowhere near Captain Walker, but I can hold my... Oh, no water, yeah? It's just that. I'm not so good with the ball. It's true that the best players can even sleep underwater. Man, that's like superhuman, you know? I can hit the ball. Okay. So, all but... Um, this one gives us items, so... It's worth noting. It's definitely worth talking to those guys. So we check out over here before we... Follow Captain Walker into the village. And get something to eat. We have a chest. With Mooncrest. Let's go and check what that is. Mooncrest. A celestial token fashioned the shape of the moon. Cool. That'll come in handy later. Nice little coral reef there. This was some great attention to detail back in 2001 when this game originally released on the PlayStation 2. All right, let's go to Captain Walker. I felt like I could trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Um, uh, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed right a thousand years ago so it's just a big pile of rubble now isn't it long time ago there were a whole lot of cities in spira big cities with machina machines to run them people played all day and let the machina do the work and then well take a look sin came and destroyed the machina cities and xanarkan along with them yeah, that was about a thousand years ago, just like you said. If you ask me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. 
Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? <laughs> Classic Waka laugh. But you from the Zanuck and Daves, that was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was everything that happened to me. All this started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, I'd just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe. So essentially, Waka is uh, not fond of Machina, which in Spira is machine, machinery and machines. Um, I guess back in back in the day, uh, machines were way more prevalent, and Yu Yevin teaches that uh, sin is essentially a punishment for people who relied on mach on Machina uh, or machinery. And that is why Xanarkin is destroyed, or at least that is what Waka believes. Waka is very, very faithful to the religion of Spira, uh, Yu Yevin, and uh, is grossly against Machina, and the Albed for that matter. Let's go ahead and save our game. I also think it's... There's a sincerity to some of the dialogue in Final Fantasy X that really touch, touches base on, uh, you know, real-life human experiences regarding repenting your sins and faith and uh, things of that nature. Some of the things that Waka says holds true to even society these days. So I think that this was a video game that spoke a lot of values and uh, had a lot of deep layers um, worth uncovering. Just beautifully written. Hey, it's this way. Yes, sir. Let's go. Another great piece of music, music here. Such a uh, goofball pushes him in, in head first. What's the big idea? Interesting to note that in Spira, some of the best blitzball players can sleep underwater. Preemptive strike. That is the opposite of a uh, ambush, meaning that we have we have uh, essentially taken the lead of any uh, encounter that we are in faster than each en than the enemies at hand. <laughs> of course, these are just piranhas, so they're not much to begin with. So now we have Waka, who uses a blitz ball as a weapon. Took two pranas out at once. Good shot. And there is a chest underwater. If I can get to it. Sometimes these fixed camera angles can be a little tricky. But I don't want to miss anything if I can help it. Another preemptive strike. And another easy one.
little bit more piranhas in this this pack. things. Pretty weak. You, I can just choose to flee, but hey, um, you know, it's not really worth fleeing, fleeing if you can get some easy experience, as well as some items. Even if in some areas the glass shatters every five seconds. Later on in the game, we will find items to prevent uh, enemies from bombarding us. That was probably the most powerful attack. I'm surprised he didn't take him out one hit there. But hey, three and one, I'll take it. Finding a decent amount of spears, too. I'm pretty surprised. Let's hit up the sphere grid and see if we can move. Well, we can't move, but we can use a power sphere to raise my defense. So that's good. And we have walkers who can't move quite yet. And another chest here. We almost made it, too. Easy kills. And both characters leveled up. Very nice. Found some more antidotes. We're almost out of the water. <laughs> uh, let me go. Got a favor to ask you. You want me on your team, right? Hmm? They can nail it on the, head, on the head there. A major blitz tournament's coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. So huge, I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Then you can go back to your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on. Sure thing. <laughs> Does sound too enthused. Ooh, but hey, our team is gonna rock, eh? I thought Tasis. then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. I wasn't too far off either. He saved Warhawks, very cool. This is where I was born. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years. And we never won a game. Well, after last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. 
Not a single win in 10 years for the Visado Rocks. So, after quitting, I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. 10 years without a single win will do that. Mm. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Hey, hey! So, you want to win the next tournament? Go out with a bang. So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. As long as we play our best. If we give it our all, I can walk away happy. Uh, no, 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 no. If I say, what's our goal? You say, victory! When you play in a Blitzball tournament, you play to win. Victory? You're serious? <laughs> He's so shocked. Well, yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna play to win. Let's go. Ah, the one from the sea. Be on guard. There are fiends on the road today. After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. Who are they? Luzu and Gata, Crusaders. Huh? Cruise of what? What, you forgot that too? Hey, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. Cool. About the Crusaders, you can ask them yourself. They got a lodge in the village. All right. Besaid village. Have they got any food there? We'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Let's see. The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Gata are usually there. Hmm. All right. Over here. Huh? What's up? You do remember the prayer, right? I don't remember. I didn't know it in the first place, to tell the truth. Man, that's like the basics of the basics. All right, I'll show you. Go ahead, you try. Hmm. Hmm. bad okay now go present yourself to the temple summoner any blitzball player would know that prayer it was the blitzball sign for victory interesting so I wonder if that means that that quote-unquote prayer had entirely different meaning a thousand years ago uh, in Xanarchy. So that's kind of strange. Fiends are around, even during the day. Take care not to travel alone, yeah? Random chest here, we're just gonna take someone else's loot. Phoenix down, which will revive a player from a KO. Shop. I'm not gonna buy anything at this point. Thank you, come again. Pretty neat to see that characters can sort of walk in and out of shops and whatnot as well. See, for fairing is hard work. Gotta kick back sometimes, get some R&R, &R, yeah?
make sure to check all these different huts out. You're the guy from the sea, right? I heard about you from Sir Luzu. Odd clothes you got. What land's you from? This your first time to Besaid? We don't get many strangers here. I remember every visitor we get. It's always good to talk to characters once or twice, just to see if they have any additional dialogue. And for all you know, they could give you uh, some some items as well. Besaid's devotion to the teachings of Yevon is commendable. Still, there is much for a priestess such as I to teach them. Go present yourself to the temple summer before we eat, yeah? Okay. Mainlanders love the fabrics we weave here in Besaid. Long as I'm around, Besaid's weaving will be known as nothing but the best. As you can see, we work together as a community. You see it a very peaceful island in spirit. I'm fixing a hole where the rain gets in. Rent's free, but I've been working like a dog just fixing the place. Hey, you! You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir! The Crusaders are sworn to battle sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting sin ever since. What, you've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? Uh, uh, uh. Well, we've steered sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. I love how conversations with Titus and different NPCs around Spira, uh, it always comes down to, well, it must be Sin's Toxin, that's why this guy's not making much sense. The Crusader's Lodge is open to guests. Take a rest? Yeah, maybe later. This is basically a machine that'll teach you some tutorials and whatnot. Little cats. I traveled Spiro looking for a land where nobody had heard of sin. I I give up looking. I think it's for the best. I had a run-in with Sin's toxin before too, you know. I'm a lot better now, but things are pretty bad for a while. Couldn't remember who I was or where I came from. Scary, yeah? Man, I nearly cried, and that's the truth. Let's go and save our game. In fact, let's take her up on that rest. Maybe that'll kind of restore our health and whatnot. Even though we're supposed to be looking for the Temple Summoner.
Is it true that Shin, Shin showed up here? Oh boy. The SS Leaky is scheduled to leave any day now. A little doggo. Following his own around, some kids running around. Looks like a very peaceful place to be, for sure. The last thing anybody wants to see is Sin come and tear it all apart. figure whether I'm going to join the Warrocks or the Crusaders. Who are you, mister? Where are you from? Okay, let's enter the temple. Greeted by the hymn of the faith. It was then, standing in that place. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. See what people have to say. The village was attacked by sin when I was just a little kid, yup. The village was burnt to ashes, so and I still have nightmares of that day. Don't bother people when they're praying, it's against the teachings. Ten years have passed since Lord Brosca became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Oh, what's a high summoner? <gasps> uh, I I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. Again with the toxin. It's kind of becoming like some comedy relief. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that, I figured. I think it's an interesting way of sort of uh, teaching the player the history behind this place uh, without breaking like a fourth wall, you know, because Titus had an encounter with Sin and the toxic sort of, uh, the toxin sort of uh, jumbled up his brain. Uh, we not only learn things from, for ourselves, but as Titus as well. So I think that's pretty, a, a cool way of doing that. It's like just a little empty room. Oh, there's a guy over here. Kind of blends in with the background. Even searching the scriptures of Yevon, I have found no cure for sin's tox toxin. May the blessing of Yevon guide you to hell, friend. I, too, will pray for the blessing of Yevon to shine upon you. Why, thank you. Pray hard, and the toxin will surely release its grip on you. Okay. I love how colorful things are in this game as well. It's a very it's a very pretty game to look at. Please let the Orox score at least one goal. I sure hope we don't run into sin on our next voyage.
Only sworn guardians may approach the cloister of trials. Okay. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. Take a nap. You look pushed. Okay. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly. Interesting. But it's been nearly... It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. These are People are searching for him now. And that's Titus's mother, actually. Thank you. And they're referring to... Sir Jet. Who cares whether he comes back or not? And that's Titus's mother. But he might mother. die. Fine, let him. Do you... Do you hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. Interesting point. Fair enough, I suppose. We'll figure out why Titus despises his father so much. Waka? So we're going to reach a pretty interesting part in the game, so I think this would be a good place to stop this video for now. And as always, we'll continue our adventure here on Final Fantasy X, the HD remaster. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4 Pro. We'll see you in the next video.